One of the defining elements of the software defined data center isn't only that it's embedded and it's in integrated and you uh, drive policy in software that is running at an abstraction layer, but the other one is that it's simple and it's easy to automate. Uh, so this is a quick and interesting demonstration of doing some of that with the brand new uh, uh, vSphere data protection, uh, which was uh, jointly developed by VMware and EMC. So vSphere data protection, you can uh, find out more about it. It's a simple and easy tool for doing backup, and it's uh, uh, easy and embedded and included. So you can see here, for example, we've got a backup job that's uh, configured to uh, uh, again, back up these individual guests. Um, and you can drive backup and restore completely via the UI, which is great. Um, but obviously one thing that uh, is important is that if you do want to uh, drive automation, there's got to be ways to do these things programmatically, um, not just uh, uh, via the UI. So we wanted to illustrate some of the work that we're doing to try and do exactly that, uh, which is about PowerShell integration, uh, which is uh, uh, with Avamar and with uh, the vSphere data protection. So these are a set of uh, Power, uh, uh, PowerShell commandlets. Uh, that uh, we've created here for both Avamar and for uh, vSphere data protection. So for example, we can connect uh, uh, to uh, the vCenter server and uh, authenticate to, uh, in this case, the, VD, uh, the VDP instance. One thing that's kind of cool about this is you're actually seeing some of the stuff that's actually going on underneath the covers uh, in VDP. Uh, you can see that it actually uses the same core version as uh, Avamar version uh, 6.1, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can go and you can start to issue these commandlets to say, hey, look, when was the last set of backups that occurred? Uh, you can see the same thing that we saw there in the, uh, um, in the UI. We've got a backup uh, group that uh, has got a scheduled backup. Uh, we could issue other commandlets too, not just uh, uh, to find that sort of stuff. For example, like uh, what VMs are out there, uh, whether they're powered on or powered off. Uh, which one of the which ones uh, are missing uh, the uh, VM client? The VM client actually doesn't go inside the guest, but basically it allows you to to go and uh, um, you know drive the backup in an agentless way. Um, you can find out, for example, uh, uh, what sort of uh, VMs are out there, and you can issue uh, arguments to basically select and filter, which is always one of the great powers of uh, of PowerShell. And uh, uh, as we reconfigure and actually change those, uh, um, those things, it actually goes back and it gets reflected there uh, via everything that we can do programmatically. So again, highlights, this highlights a few things. It highlights the power of making things programmatic. Uh, you can automate and you can automate at scale. Uh, it hi highlights the power of PowerShell uh, where you can issue extremely complex uh, uh, commands in a way that's very basic and very simple. Um, the ability, uh, frankly, to automate that sort of stuff with uh, vSphere data protect, uh, protection. Uh, and of course, it does highlight that uh, uh, VDP is uh, based off of Avamar, in fact, uh, the latest version of Avamar. So for example, here we're seeing the benefits of, uh, of uh, um, the inline variable data deduplication that gets done during a backup job. You can see that the byte sent is very, very small. Uh, and this is a benefit both of the vStore APIs for data protection, which uh, Avamar leverages, but also uh, Avamar's industry-leading uh, uh, deduplication technology, which is also now included uh, as part of vSphere using vSphere data protection. Pretty cool stuff. Again, this, is, this should be viewed more as a technology preview. Uh, these PowerShell commandlets and uh, the APIs have not uh, gone through all of the testing that's required, but highlights how we're trying to make everything that we do at VMware and EMC programmatic, uh, and programmable, uh, which is very, very important for our customers. Hope you think that's as cool as I do.